Hello, friends. It is I, Tommy the Great Art Detective, coming to you from the Taiwan Museum of Art. And today, friends, I'm looking at this wonderful work of art by the artist Pierre Dara. Now, Pierre Dara painted lots of different things. He painted portraits. He painted landscapes. He painted still lives. And he also painted abstract works of art, like this one here. What is happening in this picture? Well, it's very interesting. I was doing some investigating, and Mr. Pierre Dara, he liked to use geometric shapes when painting. Yes, and in fact. This work is called geometric. What are geometric shapes? Well, the shapes, yes, the triangles and squares and circles. In fact, Mr. Pierre Dara was a part of an artist group called the Circle and the Square. Yes, and so in this particular painting. Mr. Pierre Dara has used a series of squares and rectangles. Yes, it is almost like he's taken a square and he's just placed it all over his canvas to create a series of smaller squares and rectangles. And then he has used color, and in fact, he made one very bold. Yes. And then some lighter colors, and some strong lines, and some faint lines. It's very interesting. It would be very interesting to count how many how many squares and rectangles are in this. I, I guess over 100. That's my guess. Maybe you can come to the museum and you can count them yourself. What kinds of other shapes could you use to make something like this, where you just overlay them all together and make a bunch more? What colors would you add? Would you do a bold spot like this, that's very colorful, very bold, or would you do them with lots of different lines? What geometric painting would you create? Well, my friends, thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be making circle art. I'm going to start by showing you three different techniques to make a perfect circle. The first technique is by using a compass. If you have a compass, then you know that the intent is to make a perfect circle. That's what their job is. To use one, you take the point and put it where you want the center of your circle to be, and push the pencil down, and then you simply twist. As you can see, using a compass is a great way to make a circle. However, not everybody owns a compass. Another way to make a circle is by using math. All you need for this technique is a ruler. So the first thing you want to do is measure out how long you want your circle to be. I want to make my circle about three inches long, so I'm going to draw a line that is three inches, and put a dot at one and a half. Which is my middle point. Then I'm going to draw a same line with my middle point being one and a half still, so I have a cross. Now all you have to do is connect the sides, and this may take a few tries to make your circle. And you can clean up any areas that you need as you go along. 
This is another way to make a circle. A third way is simply finding something that has a circle bottom and tracing. This is probably the easiest and most accessible way to make a circle. Once you've chosen one or more of these techniques, draw out three circles, just like I did, in three different shapes, and then cut them out. Now that you have your circles of all different sizes, you're going to make a collage that includes each and every one. You can be creative, use one as a sun, maybe a head, a ball, any way you'd like. I made my first circle a bubble. Use glue or tape to take it anywhere you'd like on another sheet of paper. I made my second circle into a bubble blower. I decided to make my third circle a face. See how I utilize depth? Because each circle is a different size. Now using a marker or pencil, complete any needed details to your collage.
now we have our finished collage. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Hello friends, it is I, Tabby the Great Art Detective, amongst all the shiny things. Hey listen, this is wonderful art and you guys did a wonderful job investigating the art today, yes? And as great art detectives, we need to say our motto. Okay, say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. We investigate those who create and salute those who inspire because we know that making art is good for the heart and questioning makes us smarter. I pledge to look, listen, and learn. And if we follow all the clues, we can make great art too. Fantastic friends, thank you so much for being with me today and I will see you next.